What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be like a recap on uh, the Q Quad Utility Four Wheelers. It's automatic. I made some videos a while back showing the power of this four wheeler and well undoubtedly there's some doubters on here that this King Quad's got this type of power because they own one and they say mine don't wheelie really like that. Well I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of Willie and a King Quad today, just like my previous video, if you haven't seen it. How to Willie your Banshee. Now, there's not a whole lot to Willie in an automatic four wheeler. It just takes a little bit of power and a little bit of know how. And there's a couple steps with that. I'm going to show you a couple of them. Here's one, and you'll notice the difference. Just getting the four wheeler steady. Oh, I ain't even got it floored. Not yanking up on this four wheeler. That was in high. We've done it on its own. We'll do it again. This, this is a little bit of a hill, so let's get up here. Let's see what it does here. Now, notice I'm gripping my legs here, not using nothing. See, it didn't want to do it there. Sometimes it will in high, sometimes it won't. Now, let's try the second step. On a King Quad or an automatic, hold the brakes, get the RPMs up. On three, you'll let off the brakes and punch it. One, two, three. And I could have went further, but you see them running off the road. Now, you notice the difference in how the full wheeler picked the front end up holding the belt tight. Now, a King Quad belt don't really have any slack in the belt. But when you style it with the brake system and get the RPMs going, it makes a world of difference on how these things will wheel it. Now, you've seen high, so I'm going to show you low in the same area here. Let's let this car get by. Low. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, grip the side and keep your body as firm as you can. This ensures top heaviness rolling to the back on the suspension. This is the way I always ride wheelies on this. I'm 280 pounds and this fuller will lift me straight up. Now for those of you that have king quads that say mine don't do it, I don't know what to tell you. I broke mine in how it's supposed to be broke in, not dogging it, and it's always had plenty of power. Remember, three steps here. Grip your legs, straight up back and hold firm. This thing will wheelie at a quarter throttle. Watch. Straight up in the air it goes. I'm not yanking or anything like that. It's got that much power for a single cylinder. Now you might say, come on now. It's just not showing it in the video that you're yanking. Wrong. I'm going to take this hand, set it right here. That way you know I'm not yanking on the four wheeler. Are you ready? I'm going to try to hold myself firm. There you go. And how I hold myself firm doing a one-handed one wheelie, I put my foot under the brake and hold on. Now again, let's go back to high, because it really is too easy and low. Way too easy. And now you might say it ain't a race quad, or it's not a wheelie machine. Yeah, I get that, but some people does like riding wheelies on stuff like this. I know I do just for fun. Now remember, this on a king quad, this is the best way to do a wheelie in high. Making sure ain't nobody behind me. Hold the brake. Yes, one, two, three. Almost to 40 miles an hour. I just ran out of straightaway. That about wrap up how to ride a wheelie, guys. It's, it's not that hard. Plant your legs firm, squeeze, straighten your back. And as you're acting stiff, when the suspension squats, your top heaviness rolls to the back. 
and it's enough that it squats the floor. Again, I'm 280 pounds. My King Quad will do it. This is a 2020 model with 1,998 miles on it. And there you go. That's a little tutorial on how to do a wheelie on your 700 plus pound machine. And I, did, I get it that all machines ain't going to wheelie like this, guys. But in this instance, this King Quad has the power to do it. All right, so again, three steps. Squeeze your legs to where the gas tank is. Well, on a King Quad, it's where your air filter is. Squeeze tightly. Hold your brakes. Get the RPMs up. Straighten your back and lean a little. It's a three-step process. Y'all try that. The ones that's got King Quads, let me know how y'all's does. And if you want me to, I will do a... Uh, video on the things that need to be fixed on a king quad and there is a few of them fuel filter rear diff vent um, front overflow vent for your radiator and then there's a diff lock rev limiter defeat which i've done a video on you can go back and look in the previous one so like share subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when i upload stuff